Hey YouTube, welcome to another review. Sam here. This time we're looking at the house of Diesel with Diesel Few for Life denim collection. Now this is ideal for the man in you who wants to smell a bit different on a spring and summer day. Nice and warm and it's perfect to whack this on. It's going to last you a long time. Good quality fragrance for the price you're paying anyway. So it's Diesel for Life, the denim collection. Obviously this is the um, the flanker to the original Fuel for Life, which is a brown bottle, or sorry, a brown fl um, fleece, if you like, which is this zip, which is, I guess it's a bit new, unique, really, but obviously, as, as a denim, denim company, uh, they are sort of going to do this, aren't they? It's just their way of advertising it, really. Um, so, though it might seem unique, it's not really that unique at all, really, just you'd expect from a denim house. So, yeah. Uh, it's been out since 2011. Uh, I've not found a perfume made for it, but it's been out. I've smelled it before a few times, so I've got my nose in it before, so I can give you a good idea of what I get out of it, really. So what I get out of it? Well, I get it's well, it's it's a citrus blast, pure citrus. Just you've got a citrus bowl full of lime, full of lemons, full of like mandarins. You squeeze them all together, and you get in that that default sort of neutral and citrus blast that you get, that smell you can smell. Sweet, nice and airy, uh, you get that from the start of this really. Now that raspberry note, which is very well known in the old Fuel for Life, is still there, but it's just underneath, it's just sitting sitting below the surface a bit. So it's it's not as, um, I wouldn't say projectile, but it's not, it's not as prominent in this one than it is in the original Fuel for Life. Uh, which I will do a review on very soon anyway, because for me this is one of the one of the best fresh scents out there in the designer genre anyway. And towards the end of the uh, the sense deterioration um, is essentially a bit of green notes. It smells to me a bit like two on two for men. Um, with that grassy note is is certainly still there. You can smell that quite pro quite clearly at the end. You see. But that citrus dies after about four or five hours, and then the raspberry and then the greenness sees you through to the end of the fragrance for the eight to nine hour mark, really. So, longevity, I've wore this for quite a while now. As you can see, I have actually wore this a fair bit. Um, now, my, what I get out of it really is five to nine hours longevity. So, it's, it's not bad for us, fresh scent by no means. And um, the projection is between three and five hours, which I appreciate because it's a nice smell. People are going to smell it on you for the first few hours, and it is going to enjoy. It. They are going to enjoy it from me anyway. I've actually a lot of compliments from this scent. Really, I've wore it before, and within three or four hours, people have said to me, "What are you wearing today?" You know, because it's interesting. It smells. I like it. I like the smell of it. Um, I've been surprised because you know three or four hours in you often can't smell scents after three or four hours but people around you can clearly smell it it's that typical thing that I always say yes you can't smell it on yourself now but if you walk past someone they will smell it a lot of the time they will smell it it's the um, the um, longevity myth which I am quite fond of really because I've had it before when people have said to me, I spray it on and then three or four hours later, I can't smell it. Well, yeah. Yeah, you might be able to smell it on yourself. You might have to do this to smell it. But you up past someone, you'd be in a room with someone, it's going to bounce off your skin. They're going to smell something on you. So don't think that this is dead after two hours. It's not because people can still smell it five to six hours into the sun. For fresh scent, that is quality really. It really is. So, essentially this is not as sweet as the original, it's, it's a, a weakened version with amped up citrus and just less fruits. That's the basic um, idea that I get out of it really, I've wore it quite a few times and that's what I get out of it really. The, the fruitsiness from the original has just been piped down and the citrus has been pushed up, which makes this, personally I think this is perfect for a summer day. Spring, mm, summer, this is it really, because it's that, that eeriness, that freshness really would settle well for the summer. So, a good one for the summer, really. Now, as I said before, the, um, less longevity than the original, and more lemons, less raspberry. So that's the main thing I'd say about this scent. 
Now, who would wear this? Well, for me personally, this is a classic scent for teenagers and anyone in the 20 or 30s, but especially if you're a teenager out there and you're looking for a new scent, this could be it for you because this is perfect. It's fresh, it's, it's youthful, it's vibrant. People are gonna like it on you and you're gonna like it as well. Uh, it's lively to, to be a, a signature scent for, for many people out there. Uh, I know I know people uh, around my age who wear Fuel for Life and they love Fuel for Life because it's perfect for them, it's youthful, it's just so f um, full of fresh notes and this is similar to it as well so this could easily be your signature scent if you're looking for a, a fragrance that you can rock this throughout the year, that could be it for you really so it's, it is ideal in that sense. Um, but yeah, it's got the stability to, um, to really, you can wear this pretty much throughout the year, I wouldn't say in the winter, in fall, when it's a bit, it can be a bit warmer in fall, in them days or them warm days, you could actually rock this, you could actually do that, uh, because the projection is good enough to actually, you know, um, sell itself really in that time period and in that um, time of year anyway, so that could be perfect for you anyway. So, just a few points to make as I like to do, uh, it's main thing to say is people say that the yes it's it's people say it's not it's weakened version now for me it's not a weakened version really it's just changing the way the notes are made uh, i think it's still got the same sort of projection and longevity as the original it's just that the notes are slightly different now anything with citrus in at its top notes people think oh it's weak oh it's a weak scent it's weak it's weak citrus just weak citrus and it's just like well, no come on that, that that's that's a bit harsh you know you got you know at least you got to wear it and see what it's like and for me the the quality is still there it's just a different um a different aim for the audience and a different type of aim for the scent really so yeah you can smell it it's going to still be there it's going to last on you for eight hours probably it could last more than that on a warm uh, not a warm day a cooler day um, but for the price point, it's a quality scent. Uh, this was very close to being in my top 20 spring, which I recently posted. Um, and it it certainly will be around in my summer list anyway, because it's a really quality scent. People love it on me. Um, it just shows you don't have to spend £200 on a fragrance for someone to say, you smell good today. <laughs> you know, you just don't have to, because this, this is it here really, essentially. Um, yeah, so hopefully you've got an idea of what the scent's like, hopefully I've informed you and if you're going to go out and buy this, you can get it somewhere, go and grab it because if you're a young guy, even a young girl, you can rock this thing, this thing could be yours and if you like the sound of it, go and grab it and let me know how you get, let me know in the comments how you get on with it, um, but it's a good one to go with anyway. So that's my take on Fuel for Life denim collection guys, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.